I remember one day, it was Christmas Eve, and I got the present where I could build my own track. And then you could drive these small toys in your living room on a racetrack with your friends. And you could play with these remote controllers on the track in loops. And the fastest car on the track was always the Blue 911 Targa. I ended up to really enjoy this game and to build loopings with the track. No one, unfortunately, in our family had a kind of super nice sports car or a classic car, but I created this passion for these cars and I spent a lot of time playing with cars and dreaming about like how when I will get a driver license and to explore the world, basically. I was always passionate about like these different colors of cars, these different shapes, the different sound of the engine. I watched the different car movies and, and I watched every single video just like, wow, at some point, hopefully I can afford a Porsche 911. So and at some point I decided to think about like, what should be my profession? So and that's how I ended up in Porsche's headquarters in Stuttgart Zuffenhausen back in 2009. I'm Jonas Reinke and I'm a product manager and I'm driving a 1968 Porsche 912. My first car was actually a VW Polo. At some point I thought it was funny because you know, it's, it was really like, I like Porsches a lot, so, but I couldn't afford it obviously as my first car. And so I removed from the VW Polo sign on the trunk the LO and put the RSCHE as a Porsche badge on my Polo. In 2011, I had the opportunity to work for Porsche Cars Australia in Melbourne. And there I had a kind of special moment. They gave me for one day a Porsche 911E from 1972. And I drove on the Great Ocean Road with this car for one day. When you drive for the first time a classic car and it's so satisfying to hear the air-cooled engine and the steering and the suspension and that was for me really a game changer. What I really enjoyed is to work on new features and to test it on the road right after that. So I drove hundreds of company cars, so brand new one, super nice Porsche cars. But I remembered always this moment when I drove this classic car and I looked around like, can I afford a Porsche 911 from the early 70s? So and at some point, Porsche offered me to move to the US. So I moved to the Bay Area here in California and I looked around what kind of classic cars are available here in the US. Well known on a global perspective that you have cars in a great condition in California. And I found in Monterey the Porsche 912 from 68. So I drove straight to the owner and I saw the 912 in burgundy, super nice color, pretty good condition. I ended up to test the car and to check all specific details on the car. So I placed a deposit and the next day I purchased the car. Now it turned into my daily driver. So I'm driving my Porsche 912 every single day. So you have the engine in the rear, you have an air-cooled engine, you have a short wheelbase, you have a wooden steering wheel, you have exactly the same chassis, the same shape, the same iconic design, also with five gauges, five speeds, and you know, it's a real Porsche. So it was in a solid condition, so you had some minor scratches here and there, still original, so the car is 52 years old, so it's a, it's a pretty old car. I ordered some parts, I replaced some chrome parts, some minor changes, the car had to be adjusted a bit, but that's it. So overall the car was just like in a solid condition and my expectation was always to have it as a kind of driver. It's too sad to see the car sitting in the garage and doing nothing. So my expectation was to drive it and so I ended up to have this car as a daily driver for me. Every single day I'm driving the Porsche 912. When I moved here to California, I'm super fortunate. I met a bunch of folks who are also in my age and they have also these classic cars. So it's pretty common to have in California cars and coffee and so on. And we ended up to, to get along and to go on drives and so on. A Porsche 912 from the engine perspective is pretty, pretty easy to fix. So I can do, I would say, most of the work on the 
For me, it's not a challenge. It, I love to fix parts and to adjust something on the engine or even the interior. Or I had to work a bit on the dash. I love it because I can learn like step by step what can I do, where can I improve it. So it's super rewarding to work on it. Even if I don't have an issue with the engine, I just love it to adjust a bit here and there to see how the engine will, will drive after that. So the good thing about the car is we have the entire history about it. The car was from 1968. The good thing was matching numbers. So the engine and the gearbox are matching and two owners owned the car for 52 years. And I know that no one replaced the engine or replaced the gearbox. I strongly believe that it's a reliable car and so I'm driving it every single day. It is super reliable. Actually, the last owner owned the car for a bit more than 20 years, and he's a little over 80 years old. At some point, he said like, look, I have no kids, I have no grandkids, so, and that's how he announced this car on the market. So he really enjoyed the car and maintained it as a kid because he had no kids. So he was super passionate about who will be the next owner. At the end of the day, he picked me and I'm super fortunate about it. For me, the car has three elements. So one is the design. The second one is having an engine on the back instead of the front. And the third one is, for me, the mechanical situation. So especially the design of the car is iconic for me. It's timeless, it's iconic. And then you open the door and it makes this special click. The Porsche 912, that was the more affordable Porsche 911 back in the day. So they put the 356 engine in the Porsche 911 chassis. One of my favorite things to do is to drive the car on the weekends. Obviously I drive it as a daily driver, that's fun. Every single morning, every single evening after work, it's a big smile on my face. But to explore California and the roads, in the mountains, on the ocean, driving the Highway 1, this car is just like the best.